Good morning everyone, you're very welcome to our weekly garden video. I'm myself and Ryan are here this morning and we are going to take a little look at rose care. We're going to run through some different topics. Uh, we're going to look at how and where to plant, fertilizing the roses, and we're going to look at pests and diseases and just a little bit on deadheading then at the end. So Ryan is going to start us off and he's going to look at how and where and how to fertilize the plants. All right, so for the healthiest plants and the best show and the be most beautiful flowers, uh, we recommend that they get six to eight hours of sun uh, daily. And you would like to have it uh, a little more open so that uh, you get more airflow and Liam will talk later about diseases and whatnot. Um, and then this next thing would be to have a, uh, a good compost and mixed in with a good f fertilizer. Uh, like a uh, farmyard manure would be absolutely perfect. Um, and we also have some uh, chicken pellets would, would be another one. Uh, both the granular, the chicken pellets and the, uh, the rose feed would be a slow release um, that would kind of, yeah, as, as the, the seasons go on, you can water and then it would slowly kind of give the plants what they need. But if they're looking a bit, a little sad or, or they're not, not as showy, uh, you can give them a quick hit uh, with a liquid fertilizer. Uh, you can mix that, mix that up with your uh, water in your, in your canteen and then um, away you go. So uh, I believe that's uh, all of mine. So Liam. Cool. Thanks Ryan. So now I am just going to, as Ryan said, uh, briefly look at pests and diseases so one of the things that turns people off roses uh, are generally uh, they think that there's going to be lots of spraying and it, it's never ending and it's really hard to keep them looking well so there's two things you can do two main things you can do the first thing I would say is if you don't want to be spraying and using different things like that you can select roses that are less susceptible to disease uh, that can be a little bit limiting in, in your selection so then if you're if you're gonna choose the the broad selection of roses i would suggest you spray every two weeks with something like this called rose guard and that'll just alleviate all the all the problems so like the likes of your black spots uh rust powdery mildew it'll protect against all of them so it won't become an issue so the rose will always look nice green lush and healthy like this one here um, and that's generally the the easiest way to do it there is some organic ways um so our old friend the, the washing up liquid for the aphids that will be cocooning in here uh, and baking soda is actually regarded as quite good for black spot but be careful because if you put on too much you will burn the plant so just with the dilution make sure it's not too strong um, so that's all we do on pests and diseases and then pruning or deadheading so really at the moment we're out of season for pruning so there's not much point we'll come back to that in the spring uh, and just with regard to deadheading, it depends on the type of rose. So these ones here are multi-flowering on the, on the stem. So this, this rose here, for example, is just about to go off. It's just starting to discolor. So you can, if I can get this open, get in there and just nip it back out, just down in there, nice and clean. And then it, it just makes the, uh, the other rose buds come on better. Um, and then with this one here, this one isn't fully out, but we'll just take it off. Again, you just take it off back here, in there, and then it allows the rest of them better airflow. And because the rose will put all its energy into trying to keep these old rose, rose heads alive. So if you just hold back these ones. So I think that's where we'll leave it for this morning. If anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them into us. There's lots of different uh, topics on roses really. So drop us in a question or drop in to see us. And I hope everyone has a good weekend. Thanks.